Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on here. Uh, if you've been a subscriber and you've been around for a while, uh, you're gonna notice we're taking it kind of old school here, going back to the plain white wall. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions for some art or wall decorations, throw them in the comments below. It's been two years, so I probably won't get to that. Believe me, I really need all the help I can get. Now, speaking of keeping it old school, this was like the third or fourth video I think I ever put up on my channel. So it's been about two years now since I first reacted to Jonathan Groff and You'll Be Back. So if you're tired of me fangirling over Hamilton or Jonathan Groff, please, thank you for the view. Move along, no hard feelings. But if you're not, this is our second look at Jonathan Groff performing You'll Be Back. say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay you cry in your tea which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by why so sad remember we made an arrangement when you went away now you're making me mad Remember, despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back, soon you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back, time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall. We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove I will send a fully armed battalion To remind you of my love Da 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 Submissive subject, my loyal, royal subject, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. You'll be back like before. I will fight the fight and win the war for your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying days. When you're gone, I'll go mad, so don't throw away this thing we heard. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family. To remind you of my love. Da 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 So good. Oh. I just had to keep it going a little bit longer just so we could see the 2021 Academy Award winner Ariana Debus there on screen. Uh, okay, there's a couple things I wanted to say about this number. Uh, it, I, it, was, it was trying my hardest not to pause that entire time. So let's go back to the beginning uh, and, uh, and go over a couple things. <laughs> Uh, 
is what I love that his walk has become so iconic and so synonymous with this character. Now, I'll be honest, I have not seen anyone else perform this role on Broadway. Uh, there's a touring company that's coming here that I'm going to go see in June. So I'm really excited to see uh, what uh, what other people are doing with this role. Are other people completely stealing uh, verbatim of what he's done on stage? Or are they trying to infuse their own, uh, their own personality and their own little humor into it? I don't know, but that walk has just become so synonymous with him and the king. And it's, it's, it's a great lesson that as soon as you hit the stage, you're on. This is the time to start performing and this is the time to start showing who your character is. And Jonathan does it from, from the word go. It's, it's just so good. You say the price of my life. Now, I've, I've debated, I've gone back and forth in my own head of, of that smile and breaking that fourth wall. I don't, I still don't know which way I fall on it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But the fact that he knows the audience is laughing at him as he comes out and does that iconic walk. And for him to, to, to smirk and acknowledge that, I mean, I guess it's okay because he's, he's just going to accost and, and just going to stare down the audience for this entire performance. So I guess in a way, like they've already set up that, you know, we're going to break the fourth wall here. Uh, this is completely separate from the show. This is just to show us what's going on on the other side of the pond uh, and, and watch the king slowly unravel that, that America's, uh, that, that America's leaving him. I guess it's okay. I don't, I don't know. I just go back and forth on it. It's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you heard in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. See, now that one right there, it didn't really land. So I wonder if the smile he gave as he was coming out, uh, if that in his head forced him or or, or indicated to him to, that he needs to add that frown in. Because that, you'd hear it from the audience, it didn't really land. And to me, what that signals is that you don't know what to do and you're desperate to try and get the audience involved and desperate to try and get a laugh. So I know this is me being very nitpicky and extra and probably unnecessary, but we're here reacting to it, so why not? Wait, now you're making me mad. Remember, despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back. Love it. Soon you'll see. I've always loved that. I love this number so much. I, 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 in previous videos, I've said, you know, rap hip-hop it's really r&b to some extent is, is really not my genre of music this was right up my alley this this british uh invasion beatles sort of you know throwback is really is really where i i can sit and listen to all day so this was honestly this was obviously a, a song that i uh, gravitated towards immediately and i absolutely love it and that beat the eyes are everything for him and and that's why i think you know, he maybe didn't get the recognition that he truly deserved when, when this show was just mounted on stage because everything is right here. Everything's going on so tight in when you get this close up. You know, Greg in the balcony sitting in 17K, he can't see all this intricate work that Jonathan is doing. The eyes are everything and I absolutely love it. You remember you belong to me. You'll be back, time will tell. You remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall. We have seen each other through it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 is just so damn clever and Lynn uh, we can go on and on gushing about this guy and and how you know is this possibly the best song he's ever written is this the best show he's ever written uh Encanto might have something to say about that look it, it's so much that he puts into this is just so smart um you know from from the da da da's to replace you know any sort of he's been so intricate with all of his words in in my shot in room where it happens in wait for it helpless satisfied there's so many intricate words uh that he's thrown into his lyrics in this show and here he gives the king 
some lines of da da da. Uh, it it from the da da das to to the rich rhyming. It's just so incredibly smart. Everything he's layered into this song, uh, and just sets your actor up for success. And look at Jonathan knocking it out right here. It's still my favorite. It, it, it's 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 my favorite part of of the number. It, it it helped me coin the phrase of "God bless the orchestra pit" as you know actors spitting all over the front row and all over the orchestra in front of them. Look, it it's really for theater people. It's never been a big deal. For so many people who saw this, were just appalled by it. So, you know, the internet kind of broke uh, watching him spit all over the place. Uh, what I will say is it's tough to really get a full sense. That's why I really want to see this on stage, and I would have loved to see him on stage with it. It's tough to get a full sense of the performance from start to finish because this would have been maybe three or four takes, I think it was, you know, that they that they had to do in order to, to piece this together because um, you have a couple wide shots and you have a close-up, so maybe three, maybe three, maybe four. Um, so it's hard to get a full sense of the performance from start to finish. It really is because... You want every performance every single night is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have little different beats. So to be able to see it from start to finish in one go, uh, to see the arc that he takes over the song would have been really cool to see. Uh, and that's why I can't wait to see uh, to see it done live. Subject, my loyal, royal subject, forever and ever and ever and ever. I almost wanted in a way like again being nitpicky but for me I would have wanted that voice to crack a little bit as he's holding that ever and just kind of losing it and in, in staring down in one spot which is absolutely brilliant and kind of just losing himself I really wanted that voice to all of a sudden start to crack and get away from him and then he picks up again it's a small thing like before I will fight the fight and win the war for your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying days. When you're gone, I'll go mad, so don't throw away this thing we heard. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family. To remind you of my life. It's brilliant. And again, why I want to see it done live. I want to know if everyone's taking that same beat to deliver that line. I will kill your friends and family. It, are, are some people taking that anger and, and really just delivering that in, in, in such a pent up rage kind of way? Or are they taking it like, like Jonathan does and keeping it sort of manic uh you know happy go lucky like as if he's he's not you know threatening to to slit all your throats you could take it so many different ways so i really want to know what other people are doing with it So many people in, in the comments of the first video commented on how he cuts off the orchestra at the end. I did. I honestly didn't pick it up in my first uh, my first run through of this uh, of this video. I absolutely love it. It's such a smart touch. Like there's so many little Easter eggs. There's so many little things going on that he does that you don't pick up the first time you go through it. Uh, and that's one of the one of the great gems that I that I absolutely love. Overall, I will say everyone knows how much I love Jonathan Groff, how much I love this production of Hamilton. 
I want to know for people who who maybe saw him uh, saw him live. I want to know what the stakes were like when he was actually performing this in the show because they, they called him back to be able to to do this for the for, for the film version. Uh, he was an original cast member that they had to bring back and and put into the role, which is a smart choice. I'm I'm so glad they did it to keep the original cast in the filmed version. But I want to know if the stakes were a little bit higher. That so much of this performance from Jonathan really reads as just a sarcastic throwaway. And is that how he was in the role, uh, you know, when he, when he was in the actual run? Or is this just him stepping in being like, all right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a performance of the King one last time for, for Disney plus. I, it's, 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 it's perfect the way it's delivered, but there is that sense of a little bit of just, you know, walking through the motions and a little bit of a sarcastic nonchalant performance and the stakes would maybe be a little bit higher if you were actually playing the king in the actual run. I, I don't know. Either way, it's an absolutely perfect performance and deserves all the praise and recognition that it's gotten over the past couple of years. All right, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, leave me your comments of what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can join me at my Patreon page. And until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick and we'll be back next week.